it's time for a new gun video and today we will bring it to the next stage and mill the growth for the barrel to the gun stock. For sure we have to make a growth before a proper inlining. So let's go. So like you can easily realize I keep the top straight so it's way easier to um, to hold the router on a flat area. I take a look that the top is flat. I put it on the uh, um, on the milling table, so it's perfectly flat. Even this side, I checked with the uh, hand plane that it's rather flat as well. I have half a millimeter here in the center with a light, light bow, but that don't bother me. And uh, when the growth is milled, then we can shape the gun stock and it should be okay. So I think we should start. So
So you can see the barrel is pre inleted So um, the no next job will be the fine tuning for the inletting that I get on the right, uh, on the right depth. And I can cut right now the contour of the stock and then it will first time look like a gun somewhere like. And uh, yeah, one really neat thing is uh, that I get with the whole barrel about one and a half millimeter deeper. So I get level up in this area with the top of the barrel to the top of the gun stock even it will not be bad to have one or two millimeters more but then i have to level out the sides here as well so that i'm pretty much on the half of the barrel or a little bit lower so that's all for today and before i forget i have a pretty nasty uh, failure after all this movement at the beginning it was barely seen uh, by all the dirt and stuff and after cutting and um, yeah doing something on the stock it came out that here we have a loose branch so i will make a v-notch and repair this area and yeah but i will anyhow uh, use this gun stock because in total the wood is pretty nice so that's the only failure and that's not far away from un unrepairable so i will use it and until next time so here one more view So that's all.